Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in an, at a Home Depot somewhere in Alabama where a sovereign citizen has just been pulled over because he has bad plates. But the plot thickens as he it re is revealed that not only does he have bad plates, but he has no insurance, no license, and he appears to match a robbery suspect that they have been looking for. And this sovereign citizen tries every trick in the book to pull one over on the officers, but he is a complete and utter failure, and he ends up in cuffs. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Uh, it's going all right. How about you? Hey, it's not because of your tag. You don't have a legal license plate on your vehicle. Uh, has, has there been a crime committed? I know how this bill goes. Do you have your driver's license? Well, looks like this isn't the first sovereign citizen that uh, this officer has dealt with. And as far as you, Sovtard, uh, Alabama does require you to have plates. And if you have the improper one, well, there are penalties for that according to the statutes. And, hey, statutes are laws according to Black's Law Dictionary. So don't give me that load of BS. Uh, has there been a crime committed? Do you have your driver's license? Can I have your name and badge number, please? Do you have your driver's license? Do you mind giving me your name and badge number so I know who I'm license, dealing sir. with, please, sir? Sir, you need to identify yourself. I mean, I'm asking for your, for you to identify right. yourself. You're identifying yourself, and then we'll talk about mine. Have I done anything unlawful? Yes, your license plate. That's unlawful. Yes. Hang on, hey. Go ahead and step out for me. If you uh, don't answer any questions, uh, then how did you make it through school then? I can only imagine uh, the teacher asking you a simple math question. Hey, Johnny, what's four plus four? Uh, I don't answer any questions. Well then, little Johnny, the way I see it, you can either answer those questions on the test or you can flunk third grade. So what'll, what will it be? Yeah, it's right here. Spread your arm for it. Spread for it. Spread your feet. No guns, knives, stuff like that? I don't answer any questions without a law lawyer. All right, let's walk right back here. What's the reason I'm being under arrest? I'm not under arrest. Well, I mean, if I'm not free to go, then I'm under arrest. All right. We're going to find out who you are first, okay? My name is Andrew Albert. Wow, that was a quick 180 right there. They asked you your name just a moment ago, and you refused to answer that question. All of a sudden, you want to give me your name? I mean, what's the deal, dude? Okay, do you have any ID? Uh, I don't have any ID. None at all? No driver's license. No registered tag. This is my property. It's my private property. It's my personal conveyance. And I'm exercising my right to travel. Is that okay? Well, you can travel all you want, but you need a license, insurance, registration, and everything like that to travel along the uh, roads in a uh, vehicle, in a motorized vehicle, just in case, you know what, you have an accident, so that way uh, everybody will be covered, especially with insurance. Do you get it now? Do you think you need insurance? Or are you going to continue to argue that uh, I will never get in an accident or anything like that? I mean, speak up, boy. I need this some ID or some type of identification. Have you ever had a license in Alabama? I'm not going to answer any questions without an attorney present. What'd you say your name was? Andrew Albert. What was your name, please? Officer Barstow. And can I have your badge number and your command? 11090. And your command? Command, like, officer in charge? Yes. Uh, who is our officer in charge today? Well, I'd like to know your command. My and why, why do I have all these privateers surrounding me right now? If there's not been a crime committed, I, I don't know. Do I, I don't have any first-hand knowledge of that. Of your birthday? Yeah. Do you Were you aware when you were born? Yes. You were. So you knew the date when you came out. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've got the... That's certificate. pretty pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Sir, we're going to have to have your 
information. Has there been a crime committed? Yes. What crime has been First committed? First of all, you don't have a driver's license. Second of all, you don't have a so license plate. So what probable you. cause did you have to get behind me? That license plate. And okay. that's and that's a crime? Yes. What were you what? doing in Helena? I mean, I'm just traveling. Okay, who were you traveling with? I mean, I'm not going to answer any qu With? I wasn't traveling with anyone. There's a female that was with you. Oh, that was a lady who asked me to uh, pick her up at the library to look at her pressure washing her house. Now, where was her house? Plantation place. And how did she get your information? Why, why you? Why, is she some kind of criminal or something? Well, we're just trying to figure out how you come from nowhere to pick up some lady in a park to look at a pressure washer. A pressure washing job. Okay. And I don't understand how that's a crime. Stand here, okay. Well, your van also matches a burglary suspect. Really? Yeah. From where? Uh, from our city. And who? Where do? You, from your city? Yes. What city is that? It's Helena. And what was your name and badge number, please? My name's Officer Murphy. And your badge number? We don't have badge numbers. Well, he had a badge number. You don't have a badge number. That's he pretty interesting. The, well, he works for the city of. Helena. So, what would be your command in this? My command? Yeah. What is your command? I don't have a command. Though. Do you have your training manual in your car? I don't, I'm not required to have my training manual. But did you, you, have, did you go through training, proper yes, training? training. Okay, well, training. it says right in there that you, upon request, have to identify yourself by your name, your badge number, and your command. Are you sure about that? Because uh, I understand that it's not in the policy of all police departments to identify themselves upon request. That just is goes by police department to police department. So have you read their training manual or uh, are you just bullshitting them? Did you go through my training? I know all about the training. So, but you didn't go through my training. But all training is that way. All training. All, all, so what training did you go through? I mean, I study law. <laughs> well, if you study law, then why the hell are you operating a motor vehicle without license, registration, or insurance? Because that is part of law of every state in the United States, and it is law throughout most of the world. So, uh, if you know the law, please quote in the law dictionaries or whatever you're reading, uh, where it says that you can drive down the roads without any of that stuff. Uh, please, inquiring minds want to know this stuff. I mean, have we, we been reading the wrong stuff? Or have you but just been bamboozled by a bunch of, uh, nitwits passing along false information to you. Either way, I mean, somebody's in the wrong here. Okay, so when you were in I'm not going to answer any more questions because you training, have no probable cause, no crime training, has been committed. You're saying I matched some kind of suspect, but you don't have any probable cause or evidence to back up and support your claims. Huh, okay, so you say you studied law. Well, the probable cause uh, as far as the traffic stop came in when they saw you driving without a tag or a proper tag, excuse me. But now, as far as the identification of the uh, potential armed robbery suspect goes, I mean, they say you match him. That is going to have to go through a different process of identification, which requires you to go to the police department and perhaps go into a lineup to make sure that you are the right or wrong person. So if you say you studied law and all that, uh, I am not impressed with your uh, education in that field at all. I mean, it's subpar at best. I mean, I doubt you could even pass any test to get into law school with how pathetic that answer was. So let's continue on. That's pretty interesting, you know, facts. I don't have one. I'm not going to answer any other questions. If I'm not free to go... Here's the thing. If you lie about your, the name that you gave us, that's not your full name. That's my proper and name. That's the only legal name that I can go by. Do you okay. understand? I'm, I'm going to tell you this. And I do not require your services, nor do I wish okay. to join her. If, do you if understand you, that? If you don't give the proper name to avoid a warrant, it's a felony. That is a proper arrested. name. I just gave, So you just said, based on your testimony, if I don't give the proper name, that is my proper name. Full name. Full name. No, you said proper name. So now you're now you're backtracking, going get your own statement. 
No, I'm telling you. No, you're going against your own statement. Don't give On and for the record, I do not require your services, nor do I wish to join her. All right. I've warned you. Is that a threat? No, I just gave you full warning. Uh, what, 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 is a, what is the exact warning? If you, if that is not your full name, and I never told you it was my full name. I told you three times that's my proper name. Right, what is your full now name? it's a fact in this case. Okay, that's obstruction of justice to use a false identity. That's not a false identity. It's only legal. 18 U.S.C. 1342. Right. Look it up. All right. All right. Challenge accepted. I'll go ahead and look up that uh, particular code right there and see what it is. 18 U.S.C. 432, officer and employee, employee contracting with member of Congress. Okay, I'm not going to read any further because uh, what does that have to do with anything here? So let's carry on. I guess you don't care about the law, do you? Because y'all are all privateers, business licensed privateer. You're not in your official capacity. You're here in your private capacity right now, trespassing upon me. And that is the facts. It's apparent that y'all don't really know the law. And it's apparent that you're a crayon-munching, soft-tarred moron who's trying to gaslight these officers into letting you go. Uh, I don't think it's going to work, though, because I'm sure they're a lot smarter than you are at this point. So let's carry on and watch that. So you got an eyewitness that says that uh, a crime has been committed? Because if so, I require them to come down and point me out, identify me as the, the person who committed the crime. May I know your name and badge number, please, sir? Detective Belanco, 11080. Thank you very much. Do not consent to any illegal search and seizure, and do not require your services, nor do I wish to join or nor contract with you in any way. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands on. I'm being taken against my will. Okay. Being, you grab that phone. I'm being taken. Well, this was all short, sweet, and to the point. At least it wasn't a protracted 30-minute long endeavor where he ends up getting away. So at least there was that. And I'm sure he would be an absolute joy in court when he's trying to, uh, well, try to get one over on the judge just like he tried to get one over on these officers. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.